So for someone who, uh, you know, they they're selling on Amazon, whether it is someone like us doing online arbitrage, resale, things like that, or a private label seller. And they're like, okay, I maxed myself out. I need to hire someone to help me out. What does that look like in terms of a first hire that you would recommend that people look towards? So I'll try and keep it to just OA and wholesale because private label is a different game and I don't I do not do a private label. And so the metrics and when you do it are a little bit harder for me. Like I don't understand them. So I don't think I'm qualified to talk about that. Um, okay. But particularly around OA and wholesale, I can kind of give some really good advice. So internally within Fast Track FBA, whenever we... We don't ever say no to people hiring VAs, but we do recommend against. Uh, and we look at four criteria that we're really interested in. So number one, have you done at least $10,000 in lifetime sales? Now to you and me, that seems like nothing, but to a lot of people, that is a lot. And at a fundamental level, that basically means that you can get a deal, you can analyze it and say, I like it or I don't, and you can explain why. Ideally, okay. you'd want to be higher, but you really need to be able to say, if someone gave you a lead, do you know why you would buy it and like it? Or do you know why you'd reject it? Because we all know there are a lot of very good leads, which right now are profitable, by the way, but we still would never buy them. So because there are other indicators that you've got to learn. So at least 10,000 in sales shows that you've kind of bought, sold, you know what's going on. Now, number two, we say you want at least $5,000 in cash or credit lines as a minimum. Why? Because if you're operating a 30% margin and you turn your stock in a three month period, Below that cash value, you're not going to have enough money to invest in the deals that UVA gives you to make profit, to pay the VA, and for you to take some money home. So if you don't have that much cash, it's not worth it. Ideally, you want more because your VA is going to do more. And then the final ones are really number one or number three, sorry, is going to be that you've got one hour per day to work with your VA. If you're in the States, this is probably going to be a, in the morning because you want to have crossover time. And to, to be clear what that looks like, you're going to have a one hour video call where you literally jump on a screen share and you analyze the deals live on the call and you explain why you like a deal and why you don't. The biggest indicator of you being able to transfer knowledge from you to your VA to get your VA to the standard that they need to be for sourcing is that one hour call, which is game changing. Um, if you don't do that, your VA's performance will not get to where it needs to be. If you do mm -hmm. it consistently and you do it well and communicate really well and talk them through on a live screen share, the VAs will start to understand what, you, what you're looking for and they can go away and find more deals. And so that's number three, and that's just an hour a day. And then uh, we say an hour a day for month one. If it's going well, then you're going to do three hours a week for month two. And then from month three onwards, you do an hour per week where you jump on the call and do it. And that's where I am now. But you always need to have that contact. And then finally, uh, number four will be that you want to grow your business with VAs and what you, or a team. And the reason why we say this is because it takes time to learn, for the VA to learn about you, but also you've got to learn how to be a leader. This isn't like the VA is a robot and they do exactly what you say. No, you've yep. got to learn how to communicate effectively. And that's a whole nother skill set that takes a lot of time. So there are the four things that we look at when people are saying, I'm interested in a VA. How do I know I'm ready? And that's the four metrics we, we kind of judge it by. Yep, for sure. hundred percent. So it sounds like to me, and those are all really good good tips and metrics for sure. And it sounds like you're recommending for people doing wholesale online arbitrage that for their first hire, they're hiring a sourcing agent. Correct. Do you want, so to explain why, I would like to say get an admin VA. And by the way, that's what I did. That's what a lot of people talk about. And I think it can be quite useful, but the problem comes is that <sighs> Sourcing is where we really make our money in this business. Mm -hmm. Number two is the fact that it's the biggest time sink that we have. And when we talk about hiring people, we're hiring labor. And really, you're paying $3 per hour to hire someone else's hour, if that makes sense. So you're making 15, you know, you're selling, you're making $15 an hour in your business right now. You can hire someone for three. And it's going to take them time to get to your level, but that's great. Now, what we see is that you can, if you look at your calendar, a 40 hour week, you might be spending 30 hours a week doing sourcing and 10 hours a week doing admin. Now, if you hire an admin VA, you're basically going to save an hour or 10 hours worth of week. Now, you kind of get a problem whereby most, ad, most people who are looking for jobs, whether it be admin or sourcing, probably want full time or if they want part time, they only want to stay part time. So if they want to mm -hmm. stay part time as your business grows, they can't flex to help you out. 
But if they do want full time, then you've only got 10 hours worth of work, which causes a problem. And then the other issue you have is, that, again, we come back to the point that you're trying to buy someone else's time. So if you have an admin VA, you're basically going to save one hour's worth of work. You're going to do one hour's worth of training to save one hour's worth of work. Mm-hmm. With a source, so, and it's only it's quite limited. It's a very linear, like one to one relationship. I'm not saying you shouldn't get admin VAs, but that's later on. But with the sourcing VA, you could probably spend forty hours initially training them up or getting them to a good point on your skill set, and then they're going to continue developing that over time and get better and better and better, and that will compound. So now, and like I said, you basically start off doing you know, ten, you know one hour per day, which is five hours per week. But by month three, you're now only working one hour analyzing their deals, but you're getting 40 hours worth of work back, which is incredible. Mm -hmm. And then what's even better is once you've trained one VA to do it, you can then hire another one. And then you'll spend probably the five hours to start with. And then the two of them will help improve each other if you're getting good people. And so therefore, it starts to compound. Whereas with admin, it's a very linear relationship. You know, one hour for one hour saved. It doesn't work so well. Where sourcing, you do a lot more. So... A lot of people say admin. I think sourcing because it's just time sync. And also as well, the final point that I'll add is that when you hire an admin VA, let's say, for example, $3 per hour on a 40 hour per week contract is $450 per month. You now just increased your cost by $450. So you have to do additional work. And if you're working at a 10% or say a 10% gross margin, just to be simple, you now have to do $4,500 worth of extra sales just to pay for that VA. Yep. Whereas if you're doing a sourcing VA, they pay for themselves and generate more money. So that's yep. why I really like them because they are a cash machine for you. And so therefore they decrease pressure on the business and decrease pressure on you in cash and actually help you grow. So that's why I like it. I think it's yep. a much better way to go. Yeah, I would definitely agree. Uh, the sourcing agent, as you said, I mean, the, the profit that they're going to bring into the business is going to be immensely higher than an admin VA who is saving you time, which is extremely valuable. You really can't put money on that. Uh, But in the beginning of the business, you're going to be in it, doing it the anyways, and you need to be doing a lot of those things and making sure they're done correctly. But, you know, I I definitely would not want to give up my admin VA because she does so many things that save me time, like giving me reports on my, my rentals that I have and updating my budget with the information on what I bought on Amazon. So I don't have to find that stuff myself. So there's tons of little things that save me time. Uh, but hundred percent correct that the, the money is made with the, the sourcing agents for sure. 